I'm Jimmy, this is Fair From Scratch, and today we're gonna to be making braised beef. Now if you like this video, please subscribe, it really helps us out, thanks. Now this recipe comes down to the beef. Just get good stew beef and cut it into these big chunks. Now, besides that, we're gonna need some onions, celery, tomato paste, Guinness, of course, flour, bacon, and beef flavored cooking stock. So we're gonna start off by coating our beef in flour. Once it's nice and coated and we mix it up, we're gonna add some salt and pepper, and you can be pretty generous here. So now I'm gonna add some bacon to a pan, and I'm just gonna render this down to get some of the fat. Now I have these big bacon chunks, so I just let these heat up for a little bit. Now we can remove those bacon chunks once we have a little bit of that bacon grease at the bottom of our pan, and we're gonna add our beef that we just floured. Now we just wanna get a light brown on all sides of this beef, and then we're actually gonna remove it from the pan. Once we have all our beef removed from the pad, we're gonna add our onion and cook it for about three minutes. We're gonna do this just to get rid of that harsh flavor. Now after that's been cooking for about three minutes, we can add our beef back and we're gonna start adding the other ingredients. Beef broth, celery, tomato paste, garlic, and lastly, of course, our Guinness. So this is a St. Patty's Day dish, so I'm using Guinness, but you can really use any dark stout. So we're just gonna give that a stir, put the lid on, and then we're gonna get cooking. Now the name of the game here is low and slow. So you just wanna cook this on low to medium heat and Try to limit the amount of times you open this so it keeps all the liquid inside the Dutch oven. Now it is important to keep this closed, but it looked and smelled so good, I kept opening it up. Now this is about two and a half hours after being on the stove and it smelled ridiculously good. This was by far one of my favorite recipes and I really recommend it. Now we have a little bit of stickage at the bottom of the pan but I'm not too worried about that. You can see how thick this sauce is becoming and it's just gonna be great with potatoes or anything else you wanna make with this dish. Now I took this off the stove after about three hours and this is what we got. This really saucy beef. Now, I probably could have taken this off a little bit sooner, but I really wanted that thick sauce. It took about three hours, but I would definitely recommend this recipe. It's worth the wait. I'm really happy about how this came out. The beef was so tender and so good. I'd really recommend this recipe. I'm actually going to make it again on St. Patty's Day to have with some of my Guinness. Now, if you like this video and want to see other videos like this, please subscribe. Also, throw a like on the video. If you thought I should have done anything differently, throw a comment and let me know what that is. Thanks for watching and have a great day.